Hi guys. What we're going to be doing today is having a little look at naming and drawing alcohols. We did look at na uh, alcohols at National 5 level. We'll be taking this a step further today. So a little bit of revision from National 5. Alcohols are a family of carbon compounds which contain the hydroxyl functional group. So a functional group is a group of atoms or ions within a molecule which perform functions during reactions, so they are able to undergo reactions. In alcohols, this is the hydroxyl group, which is this um, OH group here. If a molecule contains an OH group, we say that that molecule belongs to the alcohol family. In the family of alcohols, the first alcohol is called methanol. Methanol has one carbon and it has the molecular formula CH3OH. Its full structural formula will be a carbon with a hydroxyl group and three hydrogens. Shortened structural formula is a way of writing the formula without the bonds. And we have to look at this first carbon here. This carbon has three hydrogens attached. And then we pop the OH group at the end of the shortened structural formula. So the shortened structural formula and the molecular formula of um, methanol are the same. The second alcohol in this group of alcohols is ethanol. And it has two carbons. Its structural formula is C2. So two carbons in a chain with a hydroxyl group at the end. And each carbon is surrounded by four bonds and has hydrogens attached. So the molecular formula for this molecule is C2, H12345, OH. And the shortened structural formula, the first carbon in the chain has three hydrogens attached, one, two, three, and the second carbon in the chain has two hydrogens attached, and we have an OH at the end. The third member of the family is propanol. Propanol has three carbons in its chain with an OH or hydroxyl group at the end. And we want to make sure every carbon has four bonds by filling in the hydrogens. So the molecular formula for propanol, it's got three carbons. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hydrogens. And our OH at the end, hydroxyl group at the end. And shortened structural formula, we have carbon, with three hydrogens, carbon with two hydrogens, carbon with two hydrogens, and OH at the end, hydroxyl group at the end. For the, third, uh, the fourth member, butan 1 has four carbons, and our hydroxyl group at the end. We fill in each carbon with hydrogens to make sure that it has four bonds, which means the molecular formula, we've got four carbons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hydrogens, and our hydroxyl group at the end. And the shortened structural formula, the first carbon has three hydrogens, second carbon has two hydrogens. Oh, I just about fit it in to avoid myself here. I'll do it here. First carbon has three hydrogens, second carbon has two hydrogens, third carbon has two hydrogens, fourth carbon has two hydrogens, and then our OH at the end. So the next four members of this family, we've got oh, pentan 1 which has five carbons. One, two, three, four, five, with a hydroxyl group at the end. We're making sure every carbon has four bonds and filling in all of our bonds with hydrogens here. Molecular formula, we have five carbons, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 hydrogens and a hydroxyl group. Shortened structural formula. The first carbon has three hydrogens, second carbon has two, second carbon has, uh, third carbon has two, fourth carbon has two, fifth carbon has two hydrogens and our OH at the end. What I want you to do is try and fill hexan 1 heptan 1 and octan 1 in on your own here and see if you can work out the molecular formula, structural formula and shortened structural formula for the last three and we will check these in class. In addition to being able to write the molecular formula, full structural formula and shortened structural formula for alcohols, we want to be able to name alcohols. Now alcohols follow the same systematic naming as they did at National 5 for alkanes, alkenes and cycloalkanes. So we're going to go through a couple of examples of how to name our alcohols. In alcohols, the most important group is the hydroxyl group. So we want to give the hydroxyl group the smallest possible number when we're naming. And the way that we're going to do this is we're going to find our hydroxyl groups. I've got one on this carbon and one on this carbon. And to give them the lowest possible numbers, I want to number my carbon chain. One, two, three. So if there are several hydroxyl groups, the alcohols are classified as di or tri. And the rules for naming branched alcohols are the same for naming branched alkanes. So I'm giving my hydroxyl groups the smallest number possible on carbons here. I've got three carbons in my chain, which must mean that my carbon chain has the prefix prop. Because remember, one carbon is meth, two carbons is eth, three carbons is prop, four carbons is but. So this um, alcohol is going to be called prop. We now have to take into account our hydroxyl groups. So we've got two hydroxyl groups, one on carbon one and one on carbon two. So we're going to have prop and one, two. And because we have two of them, we will have a diol. So if we look at this together, the prop part of my name tells me that I've got three carbons in my chain. My numbers, one and two, tell me that I have an OH or a hydroxyl group on carbons one and two. And the diol part tells me that I've got two hydroxyl groups in the molecule. So this molecule would be called propan-1,2-diol. For the next example, we're going to follow the same rules. My hydroxyl group will be the most important group in the molecule. So we will be naming our carbon or numbering our carbon chain with that in mind. So we want to give this hydroxyl group the smallest possible number that we can. So if we numbered our carbon chain this way, one, two, three, four, then our carbon, our hydroxyl group would be on carbon three. But if I number my carbon chain this way, one, two, three, four, then my hydroxyl group is on carbon two. So that is giving the hydroxyl group the smallest possible number. We have four carbons in our chain. So we're going to have a chain called butan. Our alcohol is on carbon two. So we're going to have butan 2 and alcohols are giving the suffix all to show that they're alcohols. So the but part tells me I've got four carbons in my chain. My number two tells me that I have a side group on carbon two. And the all part tells me that that side group is a hydroxyl group. It's what defines the alcohols. So all alcohols will be named with all at the end. For example three, we have two different side groups. We've got this side chain and also our hydroxyl group. So we're going to have to name both of these side groups in our molecule. But because the alcohol has the hydroxyl group, the hydroxyl group is still the most important. So we'll be numbering our carbon chain, giving this hydroxyl group the smallest possible number. 
So we're going to number it from this side. Carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3 and carbon 4, which puts our hydroxyl group on the second carbon. We've got four carbons in our longest chain here, which means we're going to have butane. Our hydroxyl group is on carbon 2, so butane 2 all. Now, we're not finished yet because we still need to name this side chain. So one carbon, if it's a side chain, gets the, the name methyl. If it's a two carbon side chain, we get the name ethyl. So we have our side chain on carbon three. So this is going to be three methyl butan two all. Three methyl butan two all. There are questions at the end of your booklet. We're going to go through these in class. It's up to yourself if you want to go through these by yourself. I'm not going to do solutions for them in the video. We're going to go through it together um, next time we have you in class. Have a nice night, guys.